Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a shaving cream ball cap. Start by getting yourself a container that's large enough to hold the project. And I got this one at the dollar store and it worked great. Then the shaving cream I just picked up at the grocery store and I grabbed whatever was on sale. And I used half a can. And then I mixed in half a cup of water. I got to thinking, how am I going to cover the bill of the hat? So I folded myself up some tin foil. Now you want to find something to swirl your die up with and this is just a disposable chopstick and it really did work great. You don't want to overwork your die. I probably overworked mine but I'm going to play around with this technique a lot more. It's really fun to do. Now I'm just folding some of that shaving cream and dye over around the rim of the hat.
Once I got it the way that I wanted it, I just set this aside for 24 hours and I let it batch. I didn't take it out, I just left it exactly like it is. It's been 24 hours and now it's time for the rinse out and I treated it just like I would a shirt. So I start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until well, the shaving cream came off. And then I took it to the washing machine and I did something a little different this time. I just did a hot water cycle with a little bit of Synthropol. And then I did a second hot water cycle using Millsoft because I also had a couple of t-shirts, but they were all the same colors. So I didn't do that third wash. And then I put it all in the dryer and we're gonna come back and we're gonna see the results of our hat. Well, here it is guys here's our hat after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out really cute the marbling is beautiful so the whole time this was batching I was really nervous that it was getting way too dark and it's not too dark at all after it's washed and dried it's actually quite pastel and it's really pretty so I'm definitely going to be making some more of these it was a lot easier than I had built it up in my mind to be you know, it's one of those things, kind of like a muck dye, where you just set it and forget it. It's a super messy project, but if you've got the room for it, just make up a bunch of hats, set them off to the side, forget about them, and then you got all these super duper cute hats. So what do you guys think of this hat? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.